Is there ideas how to do that? Is that on the gen- uh, genetic engineering level? Is it uh, like, what can you mess with? Is it going to the, um, trying to discover the backup copies and restoring from them? Like what's, if it's, it's possible to convert it to natural language words, what are the ideas here? What is the observer? And how do we contact it? Exactly. Yeah. How, what's the observer and how do you contact? It? Or if there's other ideas, how to reverse the, 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 the balls getting lost process. Yeah. Well, you, you can slow it down. Slow it. But we found that a reset switch recently. We just published this um, uh, in the December 2020 issue of Nature. Um, and what we found is that there are three embryonic genes that we could put into the adult animal to reset the age of the tissues. And it only takes four to eight weeks to work well. And we can take a blind mouse that's lost its vision due to aging. Neurons aren't working well towards the brain. Reset those neurons back to a younger age. And now the mice can see again. These three genes are famous actually because they're a set of four genes discovered by Shinya Yamanaka, who won the Nobel Prize in 2016 for discovering that those four genes when turned on at high levels in adult cells can generate stem cells. And this is, I think, well known now that we can create stem cells from adult tissue. But what wasn't known is, can you partially take age back without becoming a tumor or generating a stem cell in the eye, which would be a disaster? And the answer is yes. There is a system in the body that can take the age of a cell back to a certain point, but no further, safely, and reset the age. Uh, And uh, we're now using that to reset the age of the brain of those mice that we aged prematurely and they're getting their ability to learn back. This is really exciting, right? Like what's uh, what's the downside of this? Well, the downside <laughs> is if you overdo it uh, and you don't get it right, uh, you might cause tumors. But we do, we do it very carefully. And we also know that in the eye, it's very safe. Yeah. We also injected these, we, we get, deliver them by viruses. So mm-hmm. we can control where and when they get turned on. And in this paper, we've published that if we put high levels in the mouse, yeah. into their veins, throughout the body, yeah. they don't get cancer for over a year. So I'm so optimistic that we're going into human studies in less than two years from now. 